Hey guys, it's Pereira from PD Tech HD, and in this video we're going to take a look at the official Top 40 chart app brought to you by Samsung Electronics. So, let's get started. Okay, so now first of all, how do you get the app? Well, you just want to go into the Play Store, as you can see on the screen now, and you want to search official Top 40 chart app, which will bring you to this window, and you just want to click install. I've already got it, so we're just going to open it. So let's just tap open and you can see the splash screen and okay so this is a general overview of the app now so I'll give you a walk through, walk through of the screens. Okay so this is the general window let me just bring this closer to the camera a bit and you can see at the top it says that there's an update available so what happens with this app is because it's a top 40 chart obviously it gets updated every week so all you need to do um, is tap it and it will download the update. I'm on Wi-Fi but um, you can also do it over 3G or just give you a warning if you want to update. There is also an auto update feature which I'll get on towards the end because that's actually um, a negative if you don't do it properly. So I'll get on to that later. But let's just um, skip ahead to when this update finishes. Okay so as you can see the update is now done. It only took about a minute or so over Wi-Fi because the green bar that was there telling me to update has now disappeared. So it's definitely up to date. So now I'm just going to take you through the, like give you a walkthrough of the app. So let's let's get into that. Okay, so basically you've got four main icons on the um, the home screen kind of thing. Okay, so we're taking a closer look at the top 40 now. So you basically you can just scroll through and get to all um, 40 songs as the name suggests. But if you want to play a song, so for example, let's see this payphone. So you tap on it and that brings you to the now playing window. Okay, so you can now see the now playing window. So it gives you the artist um, who it's featuring. If there is a featuring artist, it tells you the name of the song. And you can also see the artwork there. The controls are fairly sim simple because it's just like back, um, like previous track, play, next track, and you can favorite a song. So if you favorite a song, it turns pink, letting you know that it's favorited. And at the bottom, you can get some information about the song if you tap info. And um, you can also buy the song. Um, I'll get onto paid um, options in a bit, but you can buy the song so it will just be downloaded to your device so you can listen to it whenever you want. And you can obviously share this um, song with the plethora of Android options available. So Facebook, Twitter, um, Skype, and even Samsung's on chat on service. Okay, now let's move on to the second um, tab along these ones. Like you can see the top 40 chart, which I showed you. The second one is hot tracks. So this is just like a collection of tracks that it basically deems hot, which means that like they're popular or stuff like that. So these aren't like, some of these are um, recent tracks. Some of these are old tracks like Little Boots, New in Town. That's quite a classic song. And again, you have the same process. So you can tap on it. You get the same um, playing window. Let's just move that a bit. And um, again, you can favorite the track and stuff like that. So it's quite nice that they give you, uh, whoops, one second, that they give you access to hot tracks in that sense. So now let's move on to the favorites. All right, so here we are in the favorites. And as the name suggests, you basically just favorite a track and it just gives you easy access to it. So, so far I've only favorited two tracks, Payphone um, by Maroon 5 and Nicki Minaj, Pound the Alarm. So you can obviously play them, you can remove them from your favorites, stuff like that. It's a pretty simple process. All right, and that brings us to the final screen um, along these tab things, which is purchased. So obviously purchase list is empty because I haven't bought any songs, but if you bought any songs, they would be here available to stream um, offline, I believe as well. Okay, so I've covered all those um, four sections, the top 40, the now playing screen, what's hot, favorites, and the purchased. But what this app also allows you to do is you can keep up with the latest music news. So for example here, you can see that the top article says Florence dressed as Bowie for Mako. So if you tap that and it gives you like the whole article with some pictures and it's nice because the text is formatted for the screen. So it's really easy to read. You can't zoom in or anything. So it just, it, it reads very well kind of thing. Like it's just fitted perfectly. So you can see like a variety of news here. Um, Oprah says Rihanna's vulnerable, you know, like Jacko warned family about family by chimp example to write for One Direction, you know, just random uh, music news. So it's quite good to keep up with in that sense. All right, so basically guys, this is a subscription sort of app. Like you do get a free trial, like I think you get two, uh, two weeks on the Galaxy S2 and eight weeks on the Galaxy S3, something like that. I'll put a edited text saying what the correct, um, correct uh, free trial basis is or put it in the description or something. But basically you just tap access or areas and then it should allow you to, yeah, the payment option. So you can see here, get ongoing unlimited access to all the hits all the time for just one pound a week. You will not lose your remaining free trial. You can pay using either credit, debit card, PayPal, or premium SMS. So one pound a week and you get access to the top 40, you know, unlimited um, streaming, downloading, stuff like that. And you can also keep up with the latest celebrity news as I showed you. So it's a real bargain. 
and I would recommend you buy this app. Okay guys, just before fin finishing off this uh, first look of the app, I just want to mention a quick negative, which is if you go into account here and go into settings, you'll see that there's an overnight update feature. So what this does is it basically turns on Wi-Fi to update the chart every night. But the annoying thing about this is that it leaves Wi-Fi on after it does that. So for example, if you go to bed with like, I don't know, 70% battery, and you leave Wi-Fi on, or even if you don't leave it on, it will turn on Wi-Fi and then just keep it on. So the next morning you only have like 40 or 30 percent battery. Um, the S3 battery is really good. Uh, more on that on my full review, which will come be coming up soon. But basically, it it does um, drain it quite a lot. So what you can do is you can turn off that feature. And also, um, if you're worried about using your data allowance or anything for updates, you can set this uh, feature to say Wi-Fi only download. Um, so yeah, that's just a slight um, negative and the solution to fix it. Okay guys, so overall I would recommend this app. Um, like you can get unlimited streaming of the top 40 chart, always up to date, and you can keep up with celebrity news and it's just one pound a week. So it's an absolute bargain and you should install this app. Um, it only works on Samsung devices as far as I know. And like I mentioned before, there are free trials available for Galaxy S2 and Galaxy S3. But if you've got a Samsung device, especially a Galaxy S3, you can get up to eight weeks. Um, free trial of this app so I would recommend you install it see how you like it and then if you really like it you can um, upgrade to the paid service but thank you very much for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video I tried to do this a new style as you probably noticed with the various camera angles and stuff um, that's been done using this stand sent to me by mobile fun that will be a separate review so look out for that but um, hopefully you enjoyed the new style please give me feedback on it and as always I appreciate the support please check out my last video which was the Nexus 7 initial setup and first look video and um, thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.